Alrighty, F4 at Rootskogan. And it's been a long time since I've been this sure that we're going to do terrible during a race. Number 7 car, qualified 17th. Which is probably a good representation of uh, how well I've been getting on with this car in the last few minutes since I joined the practice session. It's a while since I've driven this. I don't know how you're supposed to drive this, but I expect by about lap 2 we will have spun. The rear end... Me and the rear end are not friends right now. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. I anticipate losing quite a fair chunk of rating in this. But if we have some battles along the way, then that'll be fine. Alright. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. I like a fairly long hold there on the lights. Car right. Clear on the right. Car on your left. You're in the middle. Three wide. Of course we are. Hold your line. Right side. Two wide. The rear end is already giving us the grip potential of a potato. Right side. This should be fun down the bottom here. Clear on the right. Left side. Clear on the left, left side, clear on the left. Okay, survived so far. Actually made up a few places, but the rear end is already concerning me. A few slowdowns for some people. Concerning that we're getting some positions because obviously everyone in front of me was faster in quali. We we're on for a faster lap in our second lap, um, spun in that corner we've just gone through, so yeah, going into this with quite a lot of uh, no confidence vote in certainly in the car. Oh god! Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not ideal. There goes our draft. Guess this is going to be a race of me looking in my mirrors then. So yeah, in practice, a couple of laps into every run I tried to do, just spun in the rear end. Attempts didn't seem to be problematic, it didn't seem to be a temp issue, I don't know what the deal is, it just had no grip, just randomly. It wasn't like a gradual build up, just Suddenly it spun. And I didn't really get to the bottom of it during practice, so I don't really know what the answer is. Looks like it might have been a bit carnage there, was that slow car just gone past and this one just in front of us is slow as well. It might be slow down. No, but away with it. One of the kind of cars where it's so hard to actually shake the car from behind you without a mistake. Draft battles. Could do with a bit of slipstream myself, I'm going to be very susceptible through this one. Perplexingly down to gain some eye rating as it stands. Not gonna fight old mate behind us too much. I am probably one of the slowest cars on the grid here today. Hello, I'd rather him. Oh my god, really? Really? That was really well played, mate. Oh my god. Luis said sorry in the text chats, so that makes it all better. Uh, Jose, whatever his name was. Jose. Oh, Car 
last stop on the left. You got a slow car on the left. against our better judgement. We're trying again. Still can't qualify. But thankfully for us, neither can the number one car, who will start in 11th just in front of us with the exact same qualifying time. Entertainingly enough, my best ever cumulative optimal is still slower than the time that was set by the guy that's on pole, who is uh, Callan. So, we're back down with my people, we're back in the 2k range. Qualified positively mid-split, more mid, mid midfield. Gonna just try and survive 20 minutes this time and see how we get on. Hopefully there'll be some racing along the way. We'll see. Alrighty, here's the lights. Green flag, green flag. Really short hold that time in comparison to last time when it seemed like it was a really long hold. Car on your left. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the left. We get done around the outside here for being a bit too uh, a bit too soft. Concertina down the bottom of the hill there. A couple of guys running wide there, it's not ideal. Really want to lose the front of the pot this early on, if possible. For now, I'm just trying to keep it clean and tidy. Avoid the slowdowns, because there was loads from other people in the other race. Looks like that's one peeled off there with a slowdown. Oh, shot shifted then. <laughs> My hand like flinched. Pulled the paddle. Such a sketchy corner in this car. 
I don't know why the tail is so loose in this thing. Hopefully it won't be the same at other tracks and it's just a, a rudge thing. Break away at the front with P1 and 2, 3 is just off the, uh, off the back, I'm slowly stringing out after that. That's not really my concern to be honest though. Let's see if we can see the chequered flag in one piece this time. That was annoying. Left side. Clear on the I'll fight left. it because we've pulled away from these guys once. It was annoying that we just got with the inside because he made a mistake and then <laughs> all mate front spun, but it's one of them things. Already ditched the guys behind, so let's see if we can start to uh, put a charge on the guys in front. Let's see if we can start to chase them. You're in the top ten. I think it was lap three in the first race, wasn't it, that we got, uh, well, that we met our maker. I was getting a bit loosey goosey through there. Just settle it down a little bit. It's pretty ironic that by being up the inside of that guy, I actually put me in a worse position to try and then get around him. I had to just slam the anchors on, and the number one car could just take a fairly normal racing line and disappear into the distance. Nineteen three for him, nineteen two for me, so caught in slowly. A little bit, but not very much. Teams up at the front, of course. Standard. Slow car ahead. Go left. Well, there was the number one car that was chasing. Now we've got an even bigger chase on. Four seconds to the next guy. Plus also keep the tyres alive, of course. Not super heat in the rears. one for the guy I'm trying to chase though, so that's not uh, ideal when I'm doing 93s. 
a bit further away. I think those two are in slipstream in front of me ahead though, so what? <laughs> I think those two ahead are both in slipstream of each other. Uh, maybe PH just hanging off the back, in fact. Maybe just sniffing. Probably losing loads of time through there now, but just don't want to slide the rears too much through. Through that corner. Especially in coming into this sketchy AF section. I think I managed an 18.4 in practice in between the two races, so getting closer towards pace, but still have a long way for guys that are sitting at the front, times at the sitting at the front. Do a break into the 18s this time though. Good little car this one because it doesn't seem to reward like a smooth driving style at all like the only thing it wants to reward is whether you balance the rear or not doesn't matter how smooth you are on and off the inputs like if you don't have some traction on the rear at some points it'll just spin around Can see our prey then. Good and bad news in that. They're in a line, so they'll be slipstreaming, so they'll be fast. But they might be slowing each other down if they start battling, so we'll see. Slow a lot for us that time though. I wonder where the difference was. Not like racing with the delta bar on because I end up chasing it too much and uh, overdriving, making mistakes. I'd be interested to know though. Feels like a painful chase. I don't even know if I'm uh, if I'm catching them or not. I think I am slowly but surely. But that info is only coming to me via numbers rather than like the visual distance doesn't seem to close in at all. String of four. So that's the battle for fifth place then. Four cars in front of us. Top five would be nice. No, nope, there's been trouble. If it's been slow down trouble or contact kind of trouble. Horrible line through there. I'm just scared like I don't know what. Where? 
Recovered. Okay. It's all heated up then in this battle for top five. It's not a nice section to find one. This is another battle for fourth place then. I think whoever it was that crashed out had crashed out from ahead in the field. Or P4 just fell backwards, I'm not sure which. Has disconnected, he was running at front, wasn't he? So maybe that's the answer. Shamozzle ahead here as well. Leaders are slow there. 20 second lap time there. We were doing 18s earlier in the race. Car in front looks to start by getting a bit sideways here. That's a slowdown. Oh, son of a gun. You've got to slow down and give up that time. Should be able to clear it down the hairpin here at the bottom of the hill. Still quite costly there though. We're inside a second before and we've we've lost that time. Might be good to drop back a little bit to be fair, let everything cool down a little bit. I don't know what the effect of sort of following another car in front is like in these, how much it overheats things. I can't remember if I said it in the first race, I think this is the first time I've driven them since the first week of last season. Was it last season that they got released? The Alton Park race, I remember making a video for it, I think that was the last time I actually drove this car, so... I do not know very much about it, other than the races tend to be fairly close, which can be both a good thing and a bad thing.
just dipped into an 18 second lap time again there. Unfortunately, so did everyone in front of me. Got a train in front. <laughs> oh dear me, going through the S's there, that looked pretty spectacular to be honest. There's not many series on our racing where you get it this close for a full race distance. Expecting the Toyotas will be like this to be fair, the new uh, Toyota 86. Or the GR86 to call it, aren't they? Look how quickly we've caught them now that they're bunching up. Fairly sure this won't be an 18 second lap time for these guys. It is for us though again. Look up for someone. On and one's gone. That's P5 gone, you can see on the track map there. And they're still getting rowdy in front. Oh god, missed that apex. 100 mile. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it is a house livery, but it looks like a house livery in front. <laughs> I was literally drifting around that entire cap in there. I thought it didn't quite look right as it was tracking round and then it strained itself back up on the corner exit. It did literally just drift the entire way around. You have about five laps of fuel left. White flag. Irrelevant information in a fixed setup race. White flag is a bit more valuable. I don't think we're gonna get there, you know. Absolutely dangled a carrot in front of me for the entire race. And I don't think we're going to be able to join the party. Go right. He'll be frustrated with that. He'll be so annoyed with that. He doesn't lose too much time though, he's still 1.6 behind me there. Must have been a pretty, uh, pretty quick pirouette. was actually capable of qualifying then we might have been right up there in this one still got a decent result I reckon this guy might have a slowdown you know I'm still not gonna be able to capitalize on it it'll be a top five it should be a top five I thought it was a top five maybe not Flag, top flag. six. I don't know how that's happened. I thought we got a top five out of it. <laughs> Curse. Well, 22k was my people. Could actually get some results if we we're uh, uh, all like in this split all the time. But we were beaten by the 21 and the 22 car, which is pretty amusing. Oh well. <laughs> Well, a bit of redemption after that first race there. Um, I'm not sure how interesting it was to watch because, you know, after the first couple of laps, we sort of we were just trying to chase that carrot the whole time and then they just kept falling off the road. But um, <laughs> a, a decent result, finally, for this one, at least, after that first absolute hiccup. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're, uh, if you're new here and you want to see more from the channel. But other than that, take it easy and look after yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.